protect your eyes, please. Okay, so we are going to pour a self-leveling compound here in this bathroom. This is a about a six by five foot area here. And you always want to have a strategy when you're going to self-level. You want to know where do you want the leveling cement to go and where do you not want it to go. And so this is why like in areas like down here, you see along the wall here, we're going to put caulking all the way around, all the way around the walls there. And what this is going to do is sort of dam up the cement so that it won't go leaking underneath the walls and you'll waste all of the product. And same here, this uh, area is here by the box out here. Um, so we're going we're gonna to put just a little bit of foam in here, a little spray foam to seal in these, these big areas here. But then I want to build a circular dam right around the toilet flange here with some caulking just to keep the the cement from coming all the way in and getting in underneath that and just dumping down to the next unit down below. And so likewise you go all the way around the floors here uh, wherever these cracks are and you fill those up. And I always like to uh, protect my bathtub in case there's any splashes or anything. So we're going to raise this up so it'll be about maybe a half inch up off the floor so that the, the concrete will still flow underneath it but it won't splash all over the bathtub. I'm not gonna put any paper on the wall here because we're going to paint the wall. Normally you would wanna put some kind of paper protection along your wall because uh, you might get a few splashes here and there. But that's it, and then we're gonna vacuum this floor real good, real good vacuum. And then we're gonna roll down a primer for the cement and on the wood too. And when the primer dries and is ready, we will then go ahead and pour down the self-leveling cement. Well, you can see we've added our caulking and we've built a dam around the toilet flange there. And we'll probably have to build it up a little more. I'm going to let this dry so I can pile up some more and make it a little taller because, as you can see, it needs to be up higher so that the self leveling cement doesn't come in there. So you can see I put my six foot level going all the way across the bathroom here. And you can see how much gap is underneath. So when the self-leveling compound comes under there, in some areas it's going to fill about half inch. In other areas it's going to fill about maybe a quarter of an inch. And this will all be perfectly flat by the end of today. So here we are, one final look at the bathroom before we pour down the self-leveler. Everything's ready to go. I've got my dam built up right around the toilet flange there. And we're going to just dump it here along this edge and let it kind of work its way down over here. And it will fill in this huge cavity here and come up to about the level of that moat right there. And then the rest of it will self-level across the floor here. And when we are done, it's going to look like a lake of water. We have two minutes to mix this stuff. And we only have about a 10 to 15 minute working time, so we have to move really quick. Mix it fast, dump it onto the ground real fast, and you only got 10 minutes to work it around. Okay, so here's our, here's our cement here, and we're going to just start pouring it out into this corner back over here. And we're going to let it run its way down and find level. See how it just flows, just like water. And we're gonna to need to make, of course, a couple more batches of this. But I'm gonna uh, let this sort of flow into place. I'm gonna coax it and trowel it. You can see as you move it, it just, sort of finds its way there and it automatically levels out. Okay, so here we've poured the first 
half a bag. We, make, we mix up 25 pounds just to see how it would look. So we're going to go ahead and pour, mix up and pour the rest of the bag. But see how it looks just like a shiny lake there? As it finds its own level. As you look closely, you'll see some ridges like this one, this ridge right here. That's from previous thin set that wouldn't chip up. And if you look real closely there, you can see a couple of ridges. So we're going to pour just a little bit more over this spot to get it to fill and level out perfectly. So here we've surrounded our toilet flange and just a little bit of a ridge left right there. We're going to try to smooth that down. And meanwhile, you can see it's sort of coaxing its way into the corner. We'll have to use the float here. But let me show you what we're going to do. Right around here, we just gently trowel it and it will smooth right over it. And then as we come along the edge of the wall, we may need to pour just a little more unless we can coax it in there. Yeah, it's going. Now I'm doing this a lot slower just to show you how it works, but in reality the pros will be going real fast before this stuff sets. Well, we took a little break there. We had to run to Home Depot and pick up some more of this self-leveler. The floor was a lot deeper with the craters and stuff than we thought, so we just needed to get one more bag. So it's sort of dried a little bit and we're going to mate up the new to this. See, we've finished tiling the bathroom floor here and right around the toilet flange if you look you can see how deep it is now because we had a quarter of an inch here of the self-leveling compound along with a quarter inch of cork as required by code because we are in an upstairs unit and you have to have that quarter inch soundproofing then we have about a quarter of an inch of thin set underneath and then about a half inch thick of this travertine natural stone tile so you can see we've added about an inch so now we're way up above the original toilet flange. So what do you do? Well, I keep a lot of these rings in stock and we start stacking these rings up until you bring the level back up. Now, of course, you have to maintain this nine o'clock, three o'clock here on the holes here. And we're going to, of course, when we go to do the toilet, we're going to make sure our screws are already in place. And we just keep stacking up. And in this case here, I think it takes four or five I like to come up to the point that we're above the tile. So if you can see right here, we're just above the level of the tile. Now, some tiling companies will tell you, oh, we do this all the time and we keep it at, at level. No, you don't want it to be at level. You always want it to be just above the level because when the toilet, <clears throat> the toilet comes in, you want the toilet to fit around this. Even though you, they claim, well, you got the wax ring, you want the toilet to fit completely around that. That's what gives you your seal. So don't buy uh, the story of anybody that says, we've been doing this for years. Well, if they've been doing it that way, it's wrong. You have to have it slightly above the level of the tile. So the toilet will fit down over this thing. And one other thing to keep in mind too, is when you screw them all down, you gotta make sure that all their holes line up because you're gonna run screws right down through and through to the existing flange so they all have to line up and it's all got to be nine o'clock three o'clock otherwise your toilet's going to be crooked leave it completely 
like a clock, like the face of a clock, perfect like that. And we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up below that tells us that you like us. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and click on the bell icon. That will tell you every time we get a video uploaded. And we hope you enjoyed this one and we will see you next time.